I'm here at day two, K2022, here in our booth in Hall 15. And we have a very special highlighted booth I wanna talk about. We're actually able to demonstrate a way to run our machine off the DC grid with solar power. For this, I'd like to introduce Mr. Vincent Smith, our product manager. Vincent, what makes this EcoPower 110 so special to run on DC power? Hi, Sonny. Nice to have you here. Um, the industry is uh, facing right now a really tough time regarding to the energy consumption, as you already mentioned. And you call it a secret, I would call it development. And what we have done here with our EcoPower DC is that we linked our DC grids together. That means, um, you probably know the DC grid from the machine itself uh, is called uh, the Kinetic Energy Return System, CARES, where we take the brake energy and use it for the 24 voltage or for the barrel heating. And the same thing we, we are able right now to do also with the automation. So we are putting all those uh, brake energy together and use it for internal use or put it back into the DC grid, into the infrastructure. We're living in an AC environment, so most people are unfamiliar with the DC grid. Can you explain? Yeah, as we already mentioned, we are living in an AC environment. The problem with this AC environment is that we are really dependent. And the benefit is we have here on a DC grid is that we can produce our energy local at the industry on your roof through a photovoltaic system. And in a common DC grid, you always have, for example, energy consumer, like the injection molding machine we have, we have an energy producer, for example, the photovoltaic system or wind energy. And you probably also have a battery um, like uh, energy storage for it. And these three parts um, have a really good uh, synergistics together. The storage of power within a company is a new concept. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's quite new in a DC grid. The, the benefit is you can store energy in a DC grid much easier because it's a DC actually. It's not that easy to save energy in an AC environment. So for example, your mobile phone is working also with DC and it's very easy to save this and load it, unload it, whatever. And the machine works not completely like the mobile phone, but it's on a higher voltage, but can do the same thing with the battery. And for example, if you have a, a factory with, I don't know, 20, 100 machines or whatever, um, all these machines are consuming energy, but also producing energy because of the break movement. And so you can take the energy out of the system and bring it back to the system. And the good thing is in this point, for example, energy peaks right now in the AC grid are very expensive. And in a DC grid, you can use the energy produced on your roof through the photovoltaic system which is saved in your battery and you don't have to take these very expensive peaks out of the system. That's one of the core benefits you have in a DC grid. Um, but you also have a lot of other benefits. For example, the energy production on the roof, you have this, uh, the battery inside and you also, and it's good for the environment and good for us, um, is that we are reducing our CO2 footprint. That's great, awesome. Thank you, Vincent, and remember, it's all Whitman.